But what this exercise does is it teaches them to just stand there and wait. Okay. I don't have a patient's pole per se. And the main reason I don't have a patient's pole is because I understand that the only time that the horse learns about how to function in the human world is when he's dealing with a human. Okay? <laughs> I get so tickled at people taking that horse out there and tying him up and thinking, oh, this is going to teach him patience. <laughs> Well, no, he's standing there thinking about all the grass he could be eating. Uh, chances are pretty good that word patience isn't in his vocabulary anywhere. Uh, and he, or else he just hadn't found it in the dictionary. But you can teach the horse how to function in your world because that's your obligation to him. You know, the greatest majority of people that I... Step back. Good. And see, when I turned turned and moved, she started to step up. This mare knows about hooking up. Okay. But Understanding your obligation to this horse, because the greatest majority of people that I deal with, they just want what they want. And somehow, uh, this horse is obligated to give it to them. You know, and the greatest majority of people don't particularly enjoy doing groundwork a whole lot. Uh, they want to be on that horse's back and going somewhere. Now, whether or not they know anything about how to get where they want to go or not, or how to communicate it to this horse. You know, one of the things that I explain to people is the horse learns more about that bit in the first couple of minutes of this thing being in his mouth than the human learns in a lifetime. You know, and it's a real, there's a real simple reason why, and that's because that bit's sitting in his mouth. It's not sitting in your mouth. You know, I can walk out and watch somebody on a horse, and I can pretty well tell you about their hands. I can tell you what the horse thinks about their hands. You know, because... When I'm, on a, when I'm on a horse, I want him to trust my hands. I want him to understand my hands are going to be kind. They're going to be giving for one thing, which a lot of people have a hard time understanding that concept. They don't want to be giving anything to the horse because this horse has got an obligation to give to them. But when you start doing and you start watching you know when I'm on a horse I want him to be thinking forward I don't want him being so concerned about my hands that he spends his time watching my hands you know that he's not able to think about out there not able to have his headlights on and watch where we're going you know that's where I want his focus to be now, and understanding that, number one, bits don't train horses. And bits get people in a lot of trouble because the greatest majority of them don't learn enough about how the, act how the bit actually works. <clears throat> in order to understand what they're doing.